Привет, друзья! Я люблю Miss Danger. I hope that wasn't cringy because I tried really hard. <laughs> I have been a fan of the Russian independent brand Miss Danger for quite a long time. So it was honestly a dream come true when they messaged me and wanted to send me a dress. Спасибо, Miss Danger. I am so grateful. I have not opened it yet. It is here. Miss Danger just offered to send me a dress. They didn't ask me to do anything in return, but I really wanted to make this video to take some time to share their brand with you because I just really love indie brands and it makes me so happy to see them thriving and growing and expanding upon their brands. And it's just somewhere that I really want to put more of my efforts and energy into on my channel is sharing more indie brands with you because I've said this before and I'll probably say it many more times, but I do think that the evolution of Lolita and the growth of it is going to come from independent brands. I think that more indie brands are going to grow and become more mainstream brands and I just am really excited for that, for the future to have more powerhouse strong labels, especially ones that have multiple sizing and different styles, but we'll, we'll get into that. Miss Danger is a really interesting brand to look at because not only have they incorporated new styles and techniques and offer a range of sizes, but they're also carried in Atelier Puro in the Japanese market as well as their own shops. So it's really cool to see them being recognized there, that's amazing. And I'm so proud of them for reaching that goal. And I'm so excited to see how they continue to expand in the future. Let's uh, bring a little bit more danger to this unboxing. In honor of Miss Danger, let's get a little more <laughs> dangerous. Top sword, big sword, this sword is blind. Non oh, you dangerous. can't even, my box is off screen. Why is there glitter all over this box? Probably from something else of mine. This is not working. <laughs> oh, I probably shouldn't do that. There's a f dress in here, you idiot. <laughs> Wait, can I? It's like the heart is right there, presented so beautifully. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, there's more stuff in here! <laughs> Miss Danger! Okay, there's little goodies. <laughs> Look at this child! <laughs> Who is this child? What is this? It looks like a, like an oval hockey puck. Oh! It's a brooch of their, um, logo. Their lips. <laughs> That's so cool. This case is also really neat. Dear Lord, we are happy that you will wear the dress by Miss Danger. Hope you will enjoy it and it will inspire you to create a lot of amazing outfits. <laughs> Sending warm wishes from Moscow, Paulina and Maria. Thank you so much. What is this? This is traditional Russian sweets. No flour, only apples, sugar, and eggs. Hope you will like it. Oh, it's really cute. Wait, I kind of want to try it right now. <laughs> I'm not even opening the dress, I'm just like, snacks! <laughs> I feel like I probably need water because my voice is dry from talking. Everybody take a water break. Hydrate. I'm back. Did you take a water break? You better have. Oh, <laughs> it's like a loaf. It tastes like apples and it tastes good, but the texture feels like it's, like I shouldn't be eating it. The texture feels like play food. The texture is literally like a sponge, but like, not like sponge cake, like an actual sponge. It feels like a forbidden snack, but I kind of like it because of that. <laughs> it's also not overly sweet. It's very like true apple taste. Thank you so much for the snacks. Well, it feels royal. Like, it just feels fancy, though. It's got a weight to it, but I wouldn't say that it's too heavy. This is my first velvet piece. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I love it. Wow. It has this, like, layered um, 
layer over it and then underneath there's all of this really detailed fabric it just looks so elegant and fancy and I'm so grateful that I live in a cold place too because I can wear this just like most of the year <laughs> I mean, I'm originally from California and I know a lot of people wore velvet pieces in California because it's so heavily air conditioned indoors. <laughs> so you could also wear this if you live in a warm place, just be wary of it. I don't know how to describe this, but this is a real zipper. <laughs> like I, I can feel this. Okay. One of my biggest annoyances with Lolita is that they use cheap zippers and they I don't know what it is about them like I can just show you an example like they are just cheap and this is an actual like legit hefty zipper and I'm really excited about that it has shirring and the bust looks really structured too which is really nice and it has this nice rope I'm so excited to have this extravagant elegant beautiful royal dress i'm really excited to style it i'm so happy to be holding it in my hands i have a couple ideas it is going to be a little bit challenging for me because i tend to wear like sweet lolita gothic lolita and then like clown stuff <laughs> but i have been getting a lot more into like royal motifs royal kind of looks and a lot of red this has been i've been collecting a lot of red dresses so, red dress. so i'm really excited to have this one to work with and i'm excited to try out some new kind of looks i think that i have some plan that'll work the only concerns i have are with my shoes because the only shoes i think that i would would work with this are maybe a little bit too sweet or maybe too plain but let's see challenge Start, style this beautiful dress. My sword was a perfect accessory for this coordinate. I paired this JSK with cream and ivory using an Aurora and Ariel blouse. I wore some cotton candy feet gold flat shoes. However, it was so snowy out that I realistically could have just worn winter boots or any boots really. My feet were mostly buried in the snow and ended up getting really cold. I bought this crown off eBay and it was a fun addition to this look. I felt really powerful and beautiful. I have seen this dress styled with black a lot, but I really wanted to see how it would look with my own hair. And I wanted to add contrast to make my hair pop more. I decided not to really wear jewelry or accessories with this piece because I really wanted the embroidery and the fabrics to be the main focus. I'm thankful to Holly who helped me film this portion and I'm glad that no one in this area stopped me from walking around with a sword. The first thing that I want to address is that during my outfit portion of this video there was a black stain here which was fully caused by me. I don't know how exactly it happened, but I was shooting that running through the forest and not really paying attention to what I was doing or being careful at all, and <laughs> somehow got a big stain on it. However, I took a Tide pen to it and it's completely gone now. So just wanted to, if you saw that there, that was not Miss Dangerous fault. It did not come to me like that. I somehow did that, but I have fixed it and it's fine now. <laughs> I was worried about this lady sloth blouse with it because it's not the exact gold in the embroidery here. This is the cinnamon color uh, of the lady sloth blouse, but it does look really nice alongside this. And I'm really happy with how this second cord turned out. The Miss Danger brand has two main designers behind it, Maria and Paulina. Their team consists of about 15 people in total. More of those team members are responsible for making the garments. Some of them are responsible for more of the embroidery, but all together, all Miss Danger pieces are made in Russia by that group of 15 people. If you purchase from Miss Danger, your pieces will be shipped from Russia and they do ship worldwide. Miss Danger as a brand has existed for about six years now. Originally, they specialized in hats, headdresses, and accessories. About four years ago, the brand decided to put more of their focus into making Lolita clothing and aristocrat pieces. 
Since then, they've had 10 fashion shows all over the world and have shifted more of their focus into making clothing garment pieces. However, they still do make accessories, headdresses, and also bags. Miss Danger has increased their size chart to offer 13 sizes, and they have been re-releasing some of their older pieces that previously didn't have a range of sizes, one of those re-releases being the Heavenly Bones series. They are also working on completely new clothing designs, some of which will be limited edition, so it is really important to stay up to date with them on their social media. I asked Miss Danger if they had a brand motto, to which they said, you don't need a reason to wear beautiful clothes. And I don't know if that is their actual brand model or if they were just saying that they don't have a brand motto because you don't need a reason to wear clothes. Either way, it totally makes sense. Miss Danger is also working on a side project, which is a street fashion brand, which will focus on a sort of grunge aristocratic style. These pieces will be more used for daily wear, but I'm really excited to see how they turn out, because they're still gonna have that rock alternative grunge aristocratic feel, and I can't wait to see how people style that. Miss Danger also recently started a YouTube channel, and I've used some clips from it throughout this video. They don't have a lot of videos out right now, but they are going to continue adding to it, so I highly recommend that you check it out. I will have it linked at the end of this video. Miss Danger said it's really important to them that people are able to wear the clothes that they want, and they're really happy to be able to provide that. I personally think that their aristocratic line is super important because I know that there are not a lot of other companies making aristocratic styles, and especially not in a range of sizes, so seeing these pieces and more people being able to wear them is such a cool thing. Miss Danger is also always open to custom orders and they offer payment plans. Now, Miss Danger is not a brand that you should go to if you are looking for a quick, cheap purchase where you just want to fill out your wardrobe. Their pieces are more of like something that you want to dream about and work towards and really commit to because of their uniqueness and their high quality. As a brand, Miss Danger always pays close attention to the details. They are fond of intricate and delicate embroidery, and they very closely monitor the quality of their fabric and their sewing. These are clothing that are really meant for people who appreciate hard work, hand detailing, high quality, and attention to details. This is not something that you order and then get tired of quickly. This is something that I am going to cherish for such a long time and just continue to appreciate and admire the craftsmanship, the design, the details, and it makes me feel absolutely beautiful and royal. Thank you so much, Miss Danger, for gifting me this beautiful, extraordinary piece. I absolutely adore it. I would love if you went ahead and checked out the great work of Miss Danger, show them some love and support, and as always, stay lovely. Feels wrong to pose like this in this <laughs> coordinate. Stay lovely.